I'm going to work on replacing a circuit breaker in my breaker panel. Before I get started, I have to let you guys know I'm not a licensed electrician and this video is just for reference. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing here just in case you want to see the process. If you're having trouble with your circuit breaker panel, I recommend that you call a licensed electrician to come in and do the work for you or at least guide you in the right way to do this. Now that that's out of the way, <laughs> let's get started. So the breaker I need to replace is this GFCI breaker right here. Now what happened was earlier today, a lightning storm came through and we had a close lightning strike. And afterwards, this breaker stopped working. You can see if I flip it on, it acts like it's working, but none of these LED lights that are on here are lit. So something's definitely wrong with it. And in fact, earlier today, right after the lightning strike, when I came down here, it was actually buzzing. I'll splice in a clip of that. Hopefully the audio is clear enough for you guys to hear that. So for safety, the first thing I'm going to do is shut off the main breaker. Now I'm going to remove the six screws that hold the face of this panel in place. So here's the breaker I need to replace. I now need to loosen the two screws here to remove this black wire and these two white wires. And then loosen this screw over here on the bus bar to remove this pigtail wire from the breaker. Now that the screws are loose, I should be able to pull the breaker out of here. So here's the new breaker that I picked up at Home Depot. It's a GE dual function GFCI AFCI. There's the model number up there. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to see more about this. So I'll just mention this one more time. I'm not an electrician. So if you're working on something like this, get some help from an electrician or at least follow the manual that comes with the new breaker. Anyway, I'm going to install this back in the panel and then I'm going to put the white wire into the connection for load neutral and I'm going to put the black wire into load power and then the pigtail wire is going to be connected to the panel neutral or bus bar here. So now I'll put the pigtail wire into the neutral bus bar. And I'll make sure that the stripped end of the wire is making good contact with the screw and then tighten everything up. Now I'm going to install my neutral wire into the neutral terminal. And on this particular breaker, that's the top terminal or the one with the silver colored screw. And again, I'll make sure that the wire is inserted so that the insulation is not in the way and that the stripped end of the wire is making good contact in the terminal. And then I'll just tighten everything up. And now I'll install the black or hot wire into the other terminal, the one with the gold colored screw. Before I move on, I brought my light in so I can take a nice close look and double check to make sure that everything is installed correctly. Everything looked good, so now I can put the panel cover back on. And when I put this on, I'm going to open the door so I can see the openings for the breakers to help line it up a little easier. Now I can flip on the new breaker and then I'll go check the circuit that this controls and make sure it's working. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Check the description below for information about my channel. Thanks for watching.